Welcome to Storytime with Roby and friends. Let's read together. Follow along with the bouncing words. How to Catch the Easter Bunny Written and illustrated by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs, and now I'm here to bring them all to you. My real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B., my special job means I must hide my true identity. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny, and I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me roam. This first trap is quite simple, just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast. To catch me, you'll need some better bait. A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me strife. Have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing's my life. Now this is much more like it, a fully lit dance floor. I'll do a little hip-hop, then dash behind the door. This next trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers. But it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket, too, but I've been hiding Easter treats since 1682. This trap nearly gets me. But check out all my hops— Watch me dodge the flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong you see me right away. I leave so many Easter treats no children will be sad, but when they see that I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. The Bunny Tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin, but I've got lucky rabbit's feet. I know they'll always win. With all the treats delivered to children big and small, I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kid of all. See you next year. You've been waiting all year long. Now Easter's here at last. You can try your best to catch me, but you know that I'm too fast. How to Catch a Unicorn Written and illustrated by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton On this bright and shiny morning, I want something fun to do, so I'm riding on a rainbow, and I'm heading to the zoo. The kids think they have spotted me. I thought I'd blend in here. I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. I believe they fart glitter. I heard they can shrink. Let's catch it. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board to help me. They will make sure I escape. First, I see my stripy cousins, but then I have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. I dodge the plastic parachute being launched from down below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. I chill with all my penguin pals, but these traps are everywhere. I'll head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. See cutest unicorn here? Wow. This room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my magic horn. Now I'm off to see more friends. It's time to shrink my size. But it sure is hard to see in here with all these butterflies. My nose smells something super sweet coming from the cafe. Oh, yum. I snag a little bite before I fly away. Next up, I go to where it's hot and where there's lots of scales. The sakes and lizards help me, though, with their clever use of tails. Ka-chop. I'm big again and with more friends. These monkeys make me laugh. But I would have been caught easily if not for the giraffe. What's over there? A paddle boat? This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring, Run! While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. 
the gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trap. But lucky for me, there's a decoy to safely take the wrap. I had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You tried your best. Your traps were smart. But unicorns are fast. Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to best your traps. Better luck next time. Can you catch the unicorn? You'll have to use your brain. So set your traps and prep your team to pet that rainbow mane. How to Catch a Mermaid Written and illustrated by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton Last week I saw a mermaid. It's not something I'd pretend. I'd really like to catch her so she could be my friend. We'd have the best adventures. I'd learn her mermaid ways. We'd tour her mermaid city. We'd swim for days and days. Hey, you two, come follow me. I need you on my team. The water's where we need to plan our mermaid catching scheme. But how to catch a mermaid? You don't learn this in school. We'll need to build a gentle trap and start near the tide pool. First, have this jewelry box. She'll love this bait I bought her. She can't resist a treasure chest. Oh no, it's in the water. Well, mermaids love bright, shiny things, a crown will catch her eye. We'll lure her in with this new trap and then our net will fly. Her seaweed lasso snatched the crown. We'll need a different plan. Let's put a sparkly necklace down inside a giant clam. She switched the necklace with a rock to stop the clam from snapping. Now she has another prize. We need some better trapping. We made a lasso of our own and hid in the seaweed. She swam too fast for us to catch. Oh, when will we succeed? Now let's try to switch it up and play some funky beats. Maybe that will draw her in? Oh no, they're sharks. Retreat! We escaped from all the sharks. That was a scary scene. But now we get to up our game with this cool submarine. This submarine has robot arms to catch our fishy lass. But this mermaid can't be caught. She really is too fast. It's time to pull out all the stops. We have to be quite sneaky. But she heard our trap from far away. That treasure chest was creaky. Creak! Oh no! Look out! The sharks are back. We're doomed. What can we do? We used up all our traps and bait. Without some help, we're through. Our mermaid comes to save the day. She made a trap to save us. She scares the sharks and scoops us up. She really is courageous. Hooray! We're safe and back on land. Three cheers to our mermaid. We'll miss her smart and clever tricks. We wish she could have stayed. How do you catch a mermaid? You must use your imagination. Get creative, smart, and clever to make the right creation. How to Catch a Garden Fairy A Springtime Adventure Written by Alice Walstead and Andy Elkerton I'm so glad to be back home. This is my favorite place to be. It is more filled with magic than anywhere on land or air or sea. Who's at the door? Are there people? With one human touch, I disappear. How on earth did they find my garden? I'll stay out of sight until the all clear. Oh my goodness, it's children. They'll explore this place high and low. I wonder if these kids are gentle. I bet my tooth fairy friend will know. Do they know that I can grant wishes? Or that a new fairy is born when they giggle? Will they be jealous I have a pet unicorn? Do they know when I burp my ears wiggle? Oh, look, a new little tea party. Hey, that wasn't there before. I did just eat ten cookies, though, right now. I don't think I want more. Almost time to go see the butterflies. On their first day, I teach them to fly. A big change from crawling on leaves, they're like flowers high in the sky. Oh good, the zebras are here. They wish for colorful stripes. Happy to do that for them. 
I like colors and stripes all types. Now to polish the petals and dust off the stems. The shine will be so bright. Flowers will gleam like gems. Due for lunch with the mermaid and I'm running quite late. She'll go back underwater and for me that's not great. Almost time to walk my unicorn. She must need to go by now. She's trying to take all of her toys. That's something I just can't allow. Grooming the peacocks and parakeets and my sweet little finch. When I comb their feathers, they don't even flinch. I'm starting to get a little sleepy, but that bed is more for the birds. Wow, they made a mess of things. And now I hear the zebra herds. What a nice house those kids built. Looks like it even had a bird spa. Hold on a second. Was that for me? Oh my gosh. They're so sweet. Aw. Those kids are great. Hope they had fun. And they got to explore, play, and roam. But it's getting dark, and the day is done. I'll send my friends to help see them home. Now that they're going, I'll miss them. I heard their laughter throughout the day. Hope they find their way back sometime. And just maybe next time they'll stay. In the garden lives a legend, filled with magic, wit, and fun. So grab your friends and set your traps, and catch this fairy before the day's done. How to Catch a Dinosaur Written and illustrated by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before. But this year I know I cannot lose because I'm catching a dinosaur. Announcements Science fair? First price is a bike. The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that thing over there? Yes! I think it's a dinosaur tail. The dino is more bird than reptile. We learned in science class that's true. And this one left something behind. I've got our fifth dinosaur clue. Snap! Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right by our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. Chomp! This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry. But we've got more in store for her, so this is no time to worry. Dinosaurs swim for free. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can it be she's onto my tricks? Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses, and if that isn't bad enough, I ruined Mom's prize winning roses. We made a prehistoric playground, and with lots of friends to play, our dino won't be able to resist. This time, she won't get away. Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dino smashed it all to pieces. She should be called T. Rex. My mom is an engineer, so we've learned a trick or three. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let our dino go free. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. If I don't catch the dinosaur soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. We didn't catch the dinosaur. I don't know what to do. But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. We did it. Better luck next time. Today's story is How to Catch a Class Pet, written and illustrated by Alice Walstead and Andy Elkerton. Summer was great, and we had so much fun. 
There was biking, camp, and the pool. Now we all have a new place to go together. We're all off to school. Playing outside as we wait for the bell, we have not seen our new classrooms vet. New teachers, lessons, books, and friends, and we know each class has its own pet. There are fish, turtles, snakes, and frogs, plus a dragon. What more can you ask for? We're having so much fun playing outside and can't wait to see what's through that door. We all went inside to our classrooms, but there wasn't one pet to be found. It seems they all watched us this morning and escaped for recess on the playground. Now outside is crawling with class pets galore, so in art class we drew traps to look at. They figured out how to escape all at once. Who knew there was something called pet chat? Lunchtime came, and we ran to the slide to discuss who would catch which critter. It looked like there were nine on the loose. Not easy, but no one here is a quitter. That's not a kid on those monkey bars. From here it looks like a stick. But sticks don't slither and wriggle around. We better get over there quick. So many kids are running and jumping. Then we see a commotion on the slide. Something is rolling down from the top. Who knew that fur balls could speed glide? This should be easy, because this pet is so slow. Let's ask those kids playing wall ball. Nope, don't see anything over here. He can't be far. He moves at a crawl. Gotta go faster, we're running out of time. Check out the people playing four square. That ball sure took a really high bounce. Hold on, there are two things in midair. There on the swings? Just how is that moving? There's nobody sitting on the top. It's not really windy and don't think it's a ghost. A hermit crab? How will she stop? Still haven't found the rat, dragon, or spider, but let's play. There's a rock wall to climb. Wait just a minute, this part is so sticky. We wonder, was he here this whole time? Teachers are calling and lunch break is over. Doesn't look like we caught any pets. What was that? Did a rat leave the tube? Maybe we just need better nets. We never did find the dragon. Finding him might take us forever. Well, at least the fish didn't get out. You'd think they'd be bored, but whatever. Wow, how? The pets are all back. Every kid let out a big cheer. Can't wait for what happens tomorrow. It's going to be a great year. How to Catch a Dragon Written and illustrated by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton Mom's cooking in the kitchen and Grandma's standing near. We're getting ready for New Year's, my favorite day all year. I think we might be missing something, I hear my mother say. A dragon would bring health and fortune. A dragon? What? No way. Every year, my friends and I help decorate the street. We hang fechon and red lanterns every couple feet. But this new year, we're on the watch to pick up any trail. Oh, wait, is that? I thought I saw. It is. A real red dragon's tail. This dragon can control the water? He's cooler than we thought. We'll have to be much smarter to get this dragon caught. We won't use tacos for this dragon. We'll try noodles and sticky rice. The problem is, he loved them so. He came back to eat them twice. I thought that since our dragon ate, he'd be ready for a nap. But even Cozy Dragon Inn couldn't cut it as a trap. We hope to catch our dragon now with this thundering beat. We might as well have caught the wind, but we won't admit defeat. We cannot lose this dragon now, not with this massive bait. A dragon can't resist some gold. We'll catch him. Just you wait. On any other day, I'd love to catch money from the sky. But today it means our trap fell through. I need just one more try. This final trap just has to work. It is our greatest chance. 
the thing that dragons love the most? The mighty dragon dance. Our dragon dance is going great. I'm having so much fun. But where's our dragon? We've got to catch him before the day is done. Oh, man, we made a giant mess and no dragon to be seen. That means no good health or fortune. I guess we better clean. I'm sorry, Mom. I tried my best to make you proud this year. Then she pulls me in a hug. Love this dragon best right here. Watching fireworks with Mom and Grandma next to me, I feel so lucky standing here with my loving family. Better luck next year? Dragons are a clever bunch. They're difficult to catch. You'll have to set the ultimate trap. But have you met your match? How to Catch a Yeti Written by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton Legend has it, there lives a beast we really want to meet. He's extra huge with snow-white fur and giant fuzzy feet. I know the Yeti does exist, and I can prove it too. So with my friends, we'll find him fast before the day is through. Whoa, look at this giant footprint set in the mountains, and there's a trail just up ahead. I wonder where it goes. Is that a Yeti photograph? How did that get there? Hey, that's the beast we're looking for. We must be in his lair. I knew it. I knew it. He does exist. Our Yeti friend is real. And look, 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 just over there. I swear I saw his heel. Can we catch the Yeti? You bet we're going to try. Our crystal snowflakes might have worked, but the Yeti said, bye-bye. Syrup? Check. Candy? Check. We'll catch the Yeti, no doubt, unless the Yeti's very hungry. Whoops. He just got out. Quick, he went into that room. We're going to catch him now. Eep, where'd he go, that tricky dude? He escaped again, but how? Swoosh. We thought that marbles, sleds, and snow would finally do the trick, but Yeti's moves are off the charts. That dude is really slick. Kapow. This crystal cave is glowing bright. Love the colored lights. Too bad our bubbles didn't work. We forgot about the stalactites. Pop, 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 pop. Grab your gear. We've got this, guys. Don't forget to aim. We finally have a trap to win this yeti-catching game. Splat, splat, splat. I thought for sure that this would work, but the yeti got away. I've got an idea that just can't lose. One more, what do you say? Okay, this is our final chance. We haven't caught him, yet. Our Yeti Snatcheroo 3000 will catch him quick, no sweat. Snap, splat. Our Snatcheroo was just too slow and Yeti is too fast. Even though we missed our friend, today we've had a blast. Thanks for playing, kids, he says. Those traps were so much fun. Please come back and play again. Our friendship's just begun. Come again soon. Legend has it, there's a beast we really want to meet, so grad you fiends taps to catch those fuzzy feet. How to Catch a Leprechaun Words by Adam Wallace Pictures by Andy Elkerton The night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one. I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house. I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait. 
and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever. But I've been alive two hundred years. You won't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy. But I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone, three thousand, gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible. That's a fact, unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. How to catch a leprechaun. It's tougher than you think. He'll turn your whole house upside down. He's quicker than a wink. How to Catch an Elf Written and illustrated by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton It's Christmas Eve. Hip, hip, hooray! Yes, Santa's coming round. He's bringing toys to girls and boys in every house in town. Some kids have tried to catch him, but Santa's fast, you see. So they've set their eyes on a smaller prize, and now they're after me. Elf Snatcher 3000. I'm not my friend upon a shelf who comes each year and sits. No, love got style and love got grace. I'm the elf that never quits. Now Santa's ready time to go. I'm sure your traps are scary. I'll do my best to dodge them all and leave you feeling merry. In'll go to Emma's house to make sure all is clear. A tinsel net? Oh, that's just fun. I won't get caught in here. Jaden's trap cannot be missed. I think it's double-sided. He's got his spot on my naughty list. You bet that's been decided. Another house is filled with treats. These kids are getting smarter, can't resist the candy canes. My job is getting harder. Santa slowly lowers me into a dangerous room. If I touch down, he won't just frown. There'll be a bonbon boom. Snip. Your Christmas maze is all laid out. My work's no longer cushy. I safely brought you all your gifts, but... Hey, you zapped my tushy. And now my radar's perking up. This next one's quite a chore. We don't yet know what lies ahead in this family grocery store. We run inside and get caught up in an avalanche of food. We've seen all kinds of traps before, but not to this magnitude. The dinner cannon burps and spits and shoots out ham and gravy. And then it follows with dessert? Please, Santa, will you save me? We tumble down the waterfall above the Eggnog River, but Santa and I are an awesome team. Together, we deliver. And now it's time for us to leave. Our night is nearly done. You tried your best this Christmas Eve, so... Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas Eve, your traps are set. You've made your secret plans. And now I'm coming to your house. So catch me if you can. Thank you for reading with us. We can't wait until we read together again. Ha <laughs> ha!